Welcome back, everyone. Today is National Wine Day, mm -hmm. and we want to challenge you to think outside the bottle. I'm so excited to welcome back our friend, chef, wine connoisseur, mm -hmm. the partytologist herself, Miss Nancy Walden. Yay. 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 We're so excited Nancy, yes. that you have a few wines that you probably at home I've never heard of. That's right. But we're going to make them fall in love. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Okay. So, um, you know, wine makes us happy. It sure does, Nancy. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin once said, God gave us wine. Oh. And it makes us happy. <laughs> Benjamin <laughs> Franklin, all of the inventions and the quote of the day. Okay, so how did this day start? I mean, really, did you start it? Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's give credit where credit I is. Had. Yeah. I wish I had, but I didn't. Um, but it's just a day that we can all celebrate our favorite fruit-filled be beverage. Okay, okay, terrific. Now, I know that there are a lot of times that, you know, we're out and about or we're at the store and we're thinking, I, I like this, I think. So how do we go about choosing the right bottle for okay. our taste? So we keep buying the same bottles mm -hmm. over and over again, right? Because we know them yeah. and they're good. But one of the reasons why we don't buy different bottles is because we can't pronounce the name. Mm. So true. Okay. Yes. At a restaurant, I'm like, yeah, number 45. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. So I've helped us a little bit with the unusual wine choices by putting the um, phonetic spelling on the wine bottles. Mm -hmm. So Here I want to shake it up and we're going to start with Chardonnay. Okay. okay. Uh, instead of Chardonnay today. We have a, a Ver, um, Verdejo, excuse me, okay. um, from Spain Ooh. and from Rueda. Okay, okay. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to smell. Mm -hmm. Now, I went to a wonderful girls' night where um, the homeowner did this amazing Spanish. It was all about Spanish wines, and I'm not that familiar with them. This is incredible. And you said this is their version of a Chardonnay. It is. Now, they do make Chardonnay in Spain, but this is just an alternative. It's got that same medium body. It's a lovely, mm. crisp um, taste and dry right finish. Here. And look at this. We have a little mm. bit of manchego oh, yeah, and me. basil oh. pesto to go with it. Nice. Mm. So the herb. Oh, wow. And then the uh, sheep's milk cheese from Spain. Yum. Beautiful. Coming alive yes. with the flavors of the wine. Yes. Just wonderful. If somebody does it, I mean, let alone know how to pronounce them, but don't <laughs> drink very oh, wow. much wine, what tips would you give for someone who's just starting their wine journey? Okay, so you do want to start with the noble grapes, the Chardonnay, Sauvignon mm. Blanc, okay. Okay. just so you know what they taste like. Mm. But then you can branch out. So that's why it's always good to have, like, if you like Chardonnay, you'll like this. Sure. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. And always, when you start trying wine, always pair it with food right. because yeah. that's going to make the wine taste better. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, all right. All right. So next up, next Sauvignon up. Blanc. Okay. All right. Are you ready for this? Yes. Tell me. All right. Now, <laughs> a lot of my girlfriends drink Sauvignon <laughs> Blanc. I typically, well, I, I figured out I don't like New Zealand. Why is that? Is it, is it grapefruity don't or something? Don't write in from New Zealand. Yes. She doesn't yes. mean it. So sorry. I like it. you. I just don't like <laughs> sure, the, the flavor. That's fine. Um, because it's a little too much, right? It's a little yes. grassy. It's a little grapefruity. Yeah. Too much. Mm. Okay, this one is going to be wonderful, crisp and dry. Okay. And Ooh, I like that. It's from Italy. Mm. What is this one called, Nancy? Okay, I'm going to let you pronounce the. Oh, bottle. that is okay. that is good. It's Fernaccia di San Gimignano. Yes. Okay. Yay. Okay, yes. so this is from Tuscany in Italy, and you know, I've got Spain mm. and Italian wines. Oh, that I just got so back. Good. Isn't that good? Kara, mm -hmm. allow me oh my to gosh. serve you. And oh, look what is no. the best. It is sushi with this. You've got the fatty avocado and mm. the taste yeah, of that this is crab. for me. This yep. is for me. Yep, mm. yep. Mm -hmm. So great summer wine. Okay, we're moving on okay, yeah. to mm. our red wines. One. Okay, Pinot Noir. I know y'all love, especially you, Christine, mm -hmm. Pinot That's Noir. Right. So just this is it. a Pinot you know, Noir substitute okay. or a, an alternative, I should say, okay. from Spain, and it's a menthea. Menthea. Yes, it looks like menthea, okay. but it's actually menthea. Oh, right. I can handle this one. Okay. Yeah. This is good. Okay, yeah. let's that try thick it. Pronunciation menthea. we have menthea. Yeah. Pinot okay. Noir. Oh, it smells good. Ah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you know how we get that aroma from Pinot Noir? It's very fragrant, yes. aromatic. You get the same thing from this. Nancy. Also delicious. Yeah. Yes. And by the way, Nancy, give me a price range with all of these mm. bottles. All these bottles. 
less than twenty dollars, oh. and you can buy them in the local wine store. So less than yes. twenty. Okay, yes. and now food pairing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just going down the row here. Yeah. Kara stopped eating, and I'm it. like, well, oh, that's my God. because I have trouble eating on the show. I do I always too. Seem to I always okay. cause problems. Okay. Right? <laughs> barbecue. Okay. Barbecue. So great for the Memorial Day weekend, right? A mm. little bit of pork barbecue mm. with barbecue sauce. Then taste the wine again, real quick, okay. and then it's going to make that wine just. Jump with it's beautiful. Oh, it's really good. Okay, last but not least, another favorite of mine. Now, you're going into a cab. Why is it okay for summertime? Because a lot of people think of more winter, it's heavier. Okay, so first of all, you mm -hmm. want to you want to pick you. a lighter red, and um, the Nero de Avila from Sicily is our Nero substitute. Sicilia, yeah. yeah. yes. 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 Land of my people. <laughs> all right. It's going to be a little spicier and a little bit lighter than Cabernet Sauvignon, but it's still going to give you that heft, that weight, that tannin, and that richness. Delicious. Isn't that yummy? And when, because really I guess in the last, you know, few years, That's I feel like um, mm -hmm. heavy mm -hmm. Napa yeah. cabs have been giving me like a little bit, you know, heartburn. <laughs> so I'm trying mm. to go for the lighter ones, and this is fantastic. And you have a pairing right there I as well. I do. I have an aged oh, sorry. Gouda. Okay. I'm so rude. No, you, you guys, I'm, so, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I forgot I was on TV. Okay, sorry. That's all right. So the aged Gouda, Ooh, you want a class. stronger cheese, right? Mm. You want an aged Gouda for some reason just sings with Cabernet Sauvignon or Nero Davla. Mm. Oh my gosh, Nancy. Yes. Delicious. Thank we you, come Nancy. The house and that do like a, really fun, a fun night Absolutely. with our girlfriends. Absolutely. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. What would we do <laughs> so to be in the presence so of, her, of her wisdom? And guys, right. you can find all of these recipes at Taste and Savor.